Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today is March 18th, 2022 and I just want to make a really really quick uh, video because I bought a brand new stock and that stock is Hermes because if we go here to position market to market because it's the best way to show you is I was assigned 100 shares of Canadian National Railway yesterday at the price of 165 because I saw so the cash secure put totally all right with that again I made that video where I said sadly these two stocks profit from the Ukraine war as you can see down here I also sold a put and also a cash secure put for Canadian Pacific I did not get assigned because as you can see the put wasn't in the money I will sell another cash secure put for Canadian Pacific and the other stock I bought was Hermes so I bought four shares of Hermes and I bought them at 1250 so here trading view we can see the stock made a little bottom down here and I want her to enter position in the upwards trend well, don't get me wrong, I assume that there that the correction in the international market will continue. So I wouldn't be surprised if these stocks go even deeper. But if you buy a quality stock like Hermes, you can still make a lot of money. So from here to the old all-time high, I have 40% upwards potential. And as you can see, the stock is down quite a bit. I will continue to increase my Hermes position. Because again, I think it's a really good long-term stock. And as I've said, I'll also continue to sell cash secure puts for Canadian Pacific. I think maybe somewhere here at that area. But apart from that, that's it. I mean, you can see I'm long now 160 shares of Canadian National Way, 140 shares of Canadian Pacific, 65 shares of ASML. 70 shares of Louis Vuitton Moyer Hennessy and 4 shares of Hermes and long 1200 shares of the TQQQ Pro Shares Leveraged ETF on for the NASDAQ and I will continue to increase this position and this position as my two primary goals of increasement and I would also like to increase these positions but not as much as Hermes and Canadian Pacific Apart from that, there isn't that much to talk. I mean, you can see I'm still long a few options, especially put and call options in the TQQQ. And as you can see, I bought a few. Well, unfortunately, you can't see it. Where are my puts? So as you can see here, I bought those puts. I'm long these puts. And I'm also long these puts. So for me, why is that? Pretty simple. So the other puts that I'm short, that you just saw a minute ago um these are all cash secure but so i want to increase my position in purchase i assume what we have right now is a snapper so i wouldn't be surprised if the market moves up you know somewhere here and then goes even further down because the increasement in the rates will definitely harm a few of those tech stocks and all in all the ukraine war just made certain aspects of the global economy worse than they were before the war breakout so i wouldn't be surprised if we see the stocks even lower let me just put that away so as you can see here we had a really nice movement so 31 percent and i made a hell lot of money in in recent days with, with with that movement here but as you can see if i turn around that uh we go down from here there's lots of space that it can go down and it will go down way way faster than for example if we compare it to the qqq because it's leveraged and if you have a leveraged instrument so let's just say qqq goes down i don't know 20 percent you can assume that the movement downwards of tqqq is way more it's not exactly three times that but let's just assume it for that moment again you can't just say TQQQ due to the three times leverage will perform three times as much as QQQ. Well, let's just make it simple for that example. And if a movement like that happens, 
puts that I'm long. So in that case, these 10 puts for 30 for April 6, uh, for April and the same with these May puts, they give me a protection. But if the market does not correct and the market goes up like that, I have a massive movement upwards and I can profit from that leverage. But these puts, they give me a certain security that if the market does the opposite and goes down like that, they give me the security. And I don't have to spend that much on these puts. That's the reason why I would say if you use leveraged ETFs, always buy puts as a security. Always. But apart from that, there's not much to talk. Again, actually, MS is the main stock that I would love for you to focus on. Because I think it's a really extraordinary company. And that's it. See you soon, guys. Bye.